Hellfire in what should be one of the coldest places on Earth, Russia's Arctic, is burning. Firefighters we meet near the far eastern city of Yakutsk struggling to keep the flames at bay. We have a lot of land that is hard to reach, so we need heavy machinery. By the time we get there, they can spread very far. This year, they've spread extremely far. Fires are raging in almost all of eastern Russia. By comparison, this would be the same area in the U.S. Siberia's wildfires have gotten worse as our planet warms up. At the same time, the greenhouse gases they spew into the air contribute to further global warming. 50 megatons of carbon dioxide blown into the atmosphere by fires in Arctic regions in June alone, scientists say, leaving scorched Earth behind. So here you see one of the reasons why these fires are so dangerous and spreading so quickly. There's a lot of dead undergrowth and dead trees here in this area that not only catch fire really quickly, but that also store tons of carbon that's now being released into the atmosphere. Towns like Yakutsk have been under heavy smoke for months, while their foundation is literally melting away as the planet gets hotter. This is what this region looks like underground. It's built on permafrost, now getting weaker as temperatures this summer soared into the 90s. The head of Yakutsk's Permafrost Institute says the world needs to cut back emissions fast. The depth of melting is growing, he says. The point of no return is almost here. We are at a critical point when it comes to permafrost. And this is what it looks like when the point of no return is reached. Giant sinkholes like this one are popping up all over Siberia and growing. The sound you hear is ice and frozen earth breaking off climate change in action. The Russians call this place the gateway to hell because it looks almost like the earth is crumbling and the underworld is coming to light. And there are fears in this region that fast erosion like this could destroy entire cities very soon. Melting permafrost also releases huge amounts of carbon stored in the melting ice, further fueling the hellish flames now eating their way through Russia's Arctic and affecting our climate back home. Fred Plykin, CNN, Yakutsk, Russia.